Hey guys, today I'm back with another Dollar Tree DIY. This one was so fun to do. It's a Dollar Tree Halloween face. But before I get into that, I just feel like extra chatty on this Thursday. I don't know why. So I may talk about really random stuff not even pertaining to this face. But I'm all dressed up because my daughter has a football game tonight. And I kind of want to talk about some different things. Things that I've been meaning to talk about and I keep forgetting. So I made a list so I don't forget. Okay. First thing is I actually was thinking about starting a second channel for vlogging. I know a lot of you seem to really love having videos from me and I want to just do like regular videos of me doing stuff, going out places and sharing that with you. But vlogging isn't really part of my content on Cheap Crafty Girl so I thought maybe I should just start a second channel where all I do is really blog blog where all I really do is vlog so comment below and let me know if you would find that interesting and if you want me to start a vlogging channel okay the other thing I want to talk about I wrote down pine cone wreath and okay here's why if you watch my videos or if you haven't you can check out my pine cone wreath DIY tutorials like basically Dollar Tree I bought the pine cones from somewhere else though but the ribbon and all that stuff was Dollar Tree the reason why I wrote this down on my list is because I have noticed since I have hung the pine cone wreath up on my door every time I open my front door like a slew of moths fly away and I think it's the attraction of the cinnamon I don't know that's coated on the pine cone. Does anyone, is anyone having problems with that? Do you know why that's happening? But I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that's happening to me. So if you are planning on doing the pine cone wreath tutorial someday, that this is a problem I'm noticing. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna do it again. Uh, it's still up, up, up on my door, but I just noticed that there's just a ton of moths and bugs that it seems to attract. So I just had to bring that up. Also, I've actually filmed a couple of videos that I haven't put out quite yet. One is a video of me and my daughter where we hauled makeup and books. And I just haven't put that out yet just because I'm still on the fence. about. I know my daughter's made some cameos into certain videos of mine, but she hasn't been the sole focus on my videos. And I know that there are a lot of kids out in the YouTube world and a lot of them have channels and it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. But let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that. The only thing is I'm not going to tolerate anyone saying anything about her. So if I do decide to put that video up, I may disable comments. And all of you, all of my subscribers are insanely kind and this is not at all geared towards you it's geared towards the people that don't subscribe and see that my video for the first time so somebody can just randomly go into YouTube and search for a video and there's my video and they watch it I just don't want to post a video of her and then have any sort of negative feedback so that's the only reason why I haven't posted it yet wanted to run it by you and see what you think but if I do disable the comments it has nothing to do with my subscribers who are the most kind people on the planet you guys are amazing I don't there are a lot of nice people in my town but honestly I've never met any one nice the way that you guys are so that's that so comment below if you want to see me start a vlogging channel I have created an Instagram account cheap crafty girl Instagram I have not created a Facebook page yet and I know somebody asked for my Pinterest account to follow me but that's under my personal name and I'm not really getting that info info out as well and the reason why is because like I said I actually have like a job like you all do and I don't want to mix my personal life with I don't have any plans to become a public figure so again I just feel like I'm an average person an average mother an average uh, worker is that a thing and I just kind of don't want to mix the two together so that's the only reason why it's not that I don't want to answer or reply to you it's because I just don't want to mix the two together also that brings up to another topic that I didn't write on my list but I've been thinking about I want to talk about comments. Everyone is so, it, it blows my mind. I can't even describe my reaction and what goes through my mind and the feelings that are triggered from reading your responses because you're all so nice. 
but because I don't do this for a living, it kills me because I can't respond to every single comment. And then I'm like, well, so I'll respond to as many as I can. And sometimes they're in spurts here and there. And then I feel like, well, but I don't, I didn't get to respond to everybody. I don't want it to feel like it's selective. So I just want you guys to know that I read every single comment. What happens is I get alerts and it's tagged to my email. So when I'm on my phone, whether I'm picking my daughter from school or whether I have a break or whether I'm sitting waiting doing something, I am reading every single email that I receive and in every single email is your comment. And I read through all of them. And I think of all of my responses and then I just never have the time really to get to my computer and type it out because it's so hard to do it on my cell phone because you are in your email and then if you click reply it shifts you over to YouTube and all this stuff and so it's kind of difficult and it's hard on the little keyboard too. I just want you to know that every single comment that comes my way I read it and that's important for me to tell you because I value how do I say this without it coming out wrong? I value human beings, and I'm not saying other people don't, but the fact that you took your time to one, watch my video, and two, to leave me a comment means everything to me, and I don't wanna be rude or disrespectful by not commenting you back. So that's, so I'm just letting you know, if I don't comment, it's just because, you know, I also work and I have my kid and then I'm tired. And so, but I read every single one and it's just so important for me to keep letting you guys know that I do because I do. Okay, so that was a really long intro. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you the tutorial I'm sharing with you today. It is my Dollar Tree Halloween vase. It is really nothing fancy. I just bought a bunch of floral. I bought a couple little embellishments. I bought, a vase from the Dollar Tree and then I just kind of put it together. There are a lot of fun different things that you can actually do with a vase and I've done a lot of those on my channel so just go look through my videos and you'll see floral arrangements. I did a fall floral bouquet. I'll link that video down below so go check that out but this one is really simple but it's so amazing. Now for starters I'm doing a witch theme. If y'all subscribe you're probably sick of hearing me say that but I'm doing a witch theme and my witch in my mind, she's purple and black. I love those colors for Halloween. I've actually used those colors a lot before in my older videos. If you go check those out, I have a Halloween tool wreath tutorial. It is so old and my editing was non-existent. I think I said and and um, 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 like 500 times. So I'm really sorry, but the wreath itself was amazing. I'm not going to lie. I just, I just, was amazing in it. And I also did matching tool pumpkins. So go check those out. I'm actually doing the same tool pumpkins this year. And you'll see my wreath again because I'm going to do a Halloween decor collection video here pretty soon. But anyway, the point is my colors are purple and black for Halloween. So with that in mind, this is why my vase looks like this. Are you okay? Dollar Tree. And I am always amazed. You think that I would stop being surprised, but I am never surprised. And you know why? Because first impressions mean everything. And my first impression of the Dollar Tree was that I just simply did not like it. When I first started going to the Dollar Tree, there were just those items that's like, oh, it's a dollar, I'm gonna go get it. But it never impressed me. But these last couple of years, the Dollar Tree has impressed me. They, my Dollar Trees are stepping up their game. So I guess that's why I'm constantly surprised and excited. But look at this, I'll give you an up close shot. Here's the other spider. I did a Halloween candy jar tutorial using Dollar Tree items as well. And I used the same spider on top. So I will link that video down below and you can go check that out. And this vase was from the Dollar Tree and all of this floral was from the Dollar Tree. Now, I haven't seen any of this lately. I think they have sold out and the three I go to, they're gone. But I hauled these butterfly clips as well from the Dollar Tree. This whole thing is Dollar Tree, every single last bit of it. What's interesting is I pulled these purple little berries 
from my collection from last year, but these are also from the Dollar Tree. They didn't put these up this year. That's why when I go to the Dollar Tree, if I like something, I get it because they may not have it the next year. And also this floral comes with like little twigs and spiders, which was really cute. This was in one of my Dollar Tree hauls. So if you wanna go back, I don't, unfortunately I don't know which haul that was, but these florals were in there and this is what I have done. So if you guys want to see exactly how I put this together, then keep watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!